guys, it's Monday and you're watching Ryan on Gaze of the Week. Here we are outside at a random location. Oh, well that's funny. Hi sir, are you eating for two? Oh hi Ryan, I didn't know you'd be here. How are you? I'm sorry, do I know you? The sun's in my eyes. It's me, Scott, from Scott Adventures. Subscribe to Scott Adventures. You never mention Scott Adventures. I don't believe I know you. You must be a fan. Yes, I'm a big fan. 235 pounds big. Not less now? No, I've gained again. I had chocolate last night, like major. God, I'm disappointed. Well, am I gonna interrupt anything if I sit in this empty? Oh, by by all means, Ryan, have a seat. Uh, are you eating for two again? <laughs> Since I last made an appearance on Gays of the Week, a lot has happened. Oh, uh, we actually changed the name since you last were on. It's it's now Days of the Week. We don't know why we went with Gays to begin with. Gee, that's a shock. I can't imagine why you used Gays. And by the way, you can ask me if I've seen any of the gays of the week. You know what the answer will be? Yes, you have. I have. I've been getting addicted to it, you guys. It's been really good. Thank you. Tuesdays is great. Wednesdays is great. Thursdays is great. Fridays are great. I always look forward to those four. What about Saturday and Sunday? There are no... Ryan, there are no Saturday and Sundays. Trick question. Good job, Scott. What, what day are you on, Ryan? I'm Wednesday. Oh, you're tricking me again because Scott Nelson is Wednesday. That's correct, Scott Wiseman. I'm Monday. <laughs> and I can tell you that who's Tuesday? Brian and Daniel are Tuesday. And Thursday we have the British guy named Give me the f Roland. Roland? Is it Roland? Yes. A Roland with the homies. And then on Friday we have Grandma Cordacia's favorite grandson, Miles J. Well done, Scott. Your knowledge of Gays of the Week is impressive. You've earned your spot a guest. You've earned yourself a guest spot on Monday's edition. Surprise! Ah! Oh my God! I'm so excited. This is our second gaze of the week. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello. Okay, Ryan, I'm going to get in my car and follow him, okay? That's allowed, right? In the, no. in the gay world, you guys, stalking is encouraged. Not only allowed, it's encouraged. Agreed. And the king stalker is sitting in front of me right now. I know how to stalk. Ryan, actually, it's funny that you should invite me to breakfast today at 2 a.m. p.m. You know, it's never too late to have breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day, right? That's right. Oh my god, I ate too much. I'm gonna explode. Rectally or orally? Stomachly. Scott, what's your favorite genre of film? What's your guilty pleasure movie? Oh, is this a porn joke? Are you gonna get the fact that all I watch is a porn when I'm not busy? Is that what you're getting at, Ryan? No, I just asked what your favorite genre was. Oh, comedy. Porn. <laughs> comedy porn. <laughs> Comical porn. Which is always funny, if you ask me. You know, when they can't, they can't get their pants down. Oh! Oh! <laughs> hello. 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 Yeah, yes, it's me. It's me. What's something your parents made you do growing up that you wish you'd stayed with? Ice hockey and basketball and all and golf and all the sports they tried to make me do. I wish I had stayed with it because if I had continued with the golf, I would have been a business tycoon by now. And if I had continued with the basketball at the YMCA, shirts versus skins, by the way, I was lucky enough to be skins, and they wonder why. <laughs> Cool, Scott. Mine would have to be musical instruments. Oh, really? What instrument did you play, Ryan? The saxophone! Oh, like Lisa Simpson. That's right. 
That's really cool. And I wish I would have played the drums and the piano and just all sorts of, every instrument you could think of. So I'd be more musically knowledgeable and I'd be better at producing music. We should have a jam session, Ryan. Okay, I gotta go. Scott, Roland wants to know what your soundtrack is. Quick and easy. I can't think. I'm just not, I don't know. I'm too sexy for my own. Oh my God. Mine would have to be the Social Network soundtrack. The Social Network score. Scott, what would you do if the world ended tomorrow? I would make amends with Connie's mother. We, I would tell her I was sorry. For what? For farting on her head. If the world ended tomorrow, I would keep on dancing until the world ends. Well, if you feel it, sing it, Scott. Keep on dancing until the world ends. Dance with your water. <laughs> he does everything I tell him to. Okay guys, my question for the week is gonna be, what's the best or worst experience you've had with parking meters? Well, my best experience is when I went to a parking meter and I saw my face above it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, have a fabulous rest of the week, and don't forget to watch the rest of the gays. And on behalf of Connie and myself, we love you all. Well, Connie more than me. Okay, bye. <laughs>